The Insights to the Spirit ministry team ask all those sharing this online Bible study to join us in prayer for those families affected by the tragedy in Aurora, Colorado. To support all of us to gain spiritual insight to personally cope with such an event, we offer the following pertinent Bible study. Should you know of someone needing additional spiritual support and insight as well to cope with the continuing events in Aurora, please do share this website address for this Bible study with them. Thank you and be blessed. Insights to the Spirit, a Bible study briefs series from Shorter Community AME Church. This insight shares the subject, Fret Not. Here's Steve Shepard, Karen Ivey, and Marva Bay. Psalms chapter 37, 1 through 9. Do not fret because of those who are evil, or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass they will soon wither, like green plants they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret. It leads only to evil. For those who are evil will be destroyed. But those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. Evil and evildoers are an unfortunate reality of life, even for Christians. Evil seems to be present everywhere even in the midst of good. We have to put up with evil and wicked people regardless of where we are. In our homes, on our jobs, in our communities, even in our churches, evil is a force to be reckoned with. But despite the presence and power of evil, and despite the dealings and doings of evildoers, we as Christians are told not to fret. To fret means to be anxious about to get all worked up over, uh, to worry about, to be all stressed out. Today's text, in addition to telling us what not to do, also informs us as to what we should do. First, we shouldn't fret about evil or evildoers because, number one, it is a waste of our time. Fretting over anything accomplishes nothing. Second, it also distracts us from our true purpose and ultimately leads us to doing wrong. Saints, instead of fretting, we should trust in the Lord, wait on the Lord, and commit our way unto the Lord, while at the same time making every effort to do good and to live righteously. In other words, instead of fretting about evil and evildoers, we should keep our mind focused on the Lord and our hands occupied with the Lord's work. Let us pray. Lord, help us not to fret about evil or evildoers and help us not to be fearful of them, but rather help us to trust in you and to wait on you and to commit our work unto you so that we may have a peace of mind. Oh, in Jesus' holy and precious name, this we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Reverend Michael Gallant. To gain the full value of this online Bible study, go to shorteramechurch.org. Click the link, Insights to the Spirit, Study Materials, Fret Not. Experience uplifting, inspirational, spiritual insights like this Sundays at Denver's Shorter Community AME Church. Reverend Timothy E. Tyler, Pastor.